So we're going to talk about making tail bread. What the heck is, this is not for painting, although you could paint with it. When you tie small dry flies, uh, it's a really nice material to use is moose body hair. Well, if, if I want to tie a fly, I have to get out the under fur and stack this. And then I got one fly tail worth. So that's let, let's be more efficient. <clears throat> Take our chunk of moose body hair, and you don't want moose mane for this. You're gonna ruthlessly strip out all the under fur, and you gotta choose the right hair stacker. If it's too small, this this chunk won't fit in here. So look at that, nice even ends. Now that's too much for one fly, but that's good. That's what we want a, we want a tail brush that's going to be good for a lot of flies. So here's a little trick. Get, get yourself one of these little glue guns. And by the way, this color, for any of you guys who like to tie uh, egg patterns, you can put this, uh, they have... Uh, so I'm going to concentrate for a minute here. So instead of waiting a while for this to set, I dip it right in some cold water there. That glue is set. You have have yourself a tail brush. Glue isn't, guess what, the glue isn't quite set. Let's put in there another. The point is, in uh, 10 minutes, you make yourself enough tail brushes to use for 100 flies. When you, you go to tie a small fly, you pick up this tail brush and you clip out a little section and you are ready to rock and roll. You did set. not cut any glue there. So, Jay, that's, yeah. that's kind oh, that, of that's, that's, right. that's stacked. You're not, you're not cutting the glue, you, you just, it's all stacked. They're all nice and even, and you can do these in advance, and it, it's a tremendous time saver. Okay. Uh, and they're they're all evened up, and, and you're and, ready to go. And give me about how many fibers you're going to use. I mean, that's one of the questions: proportions so, of dry flies. So, so some some people are very particular. They'll say mayflies have three tails, and they'll only use three fibers. Um, I tend to to make my tails a little bit bushier, so I'll go in the six to eight range. Okay. If you're tying a, a fast water fly, like a humpy or a royal wolf, uh, I may use, let's see, 12, between 12 and 14, okay. 13. Cool. Uh, one thing I wanna show you while we got this glue gun out here, there are all kinds, uh, it's really fascinating, many different colors of this, uh, the hot glue, and people who fish up in Alaska or around here, you tie an egg sucking leech, you put a gold bead on first, then you put some of this hot glue over the gold bead, you dip it in the cold water, and boom, you have a really uh, luminescent egg-like head for your fly. Great.